What's going on, man? What's going on? It's your boy, Hollywood Sports. What's good, everybody? What's good, man? I got another breakdown. But first of all, I want to say congratulations to the Washington football team, man. We play some football, man, and I think we have our quarterback now. We have our quarterback. You know, they played very well, man. They just couldn't stop the uh, they just couldn't stop Tom Brady, man. Mike Evans and them boys, man. They just a good team, man. And Tom Brady, look at that strength in his arm. Tom Brady was rifling that ball in there, man. I mean, it's tight coverage. Tom Brady was hitting all the tight windows, man. But our defense, we did okay, man. We couldn't stop the run for there for, for a sec. But you know, it's just Tom Brady, man. Obviously, they were the better team. Um, but we we almost got it done, man. We almost got it done. All right, I'm, I'm proud of my boys. We starting a new era. We getting respect around the NFL. Uh, uh, we start a new culture. I'm like what we're doing. I'm like what we're doing. But guys, what I want to talk about right now? Hey, we got the same matchup, man. The Washington Football Team going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I win this game online, by the way. But what I want to talk about, guys? See, I got my head called the Red Zone. I'm talking about the Red Zone, man. Madden seems so far away, and I know Madden has a lot of work to do, but they're close, man. It's just small things. They're close, okay? Now, we're going to talk about technique again, but I want to talk about some good things in this, in this game. Madden just does not play consistently, and I'm telling you, man, if they let the devs just only work on gameplay, just gameplay, and tune this thing up, man, this game would be... 90% better than it is. Let me show y'all something, man. You see Jimmy Morling number 20 right there. Let me back up a little bit. You see Jimmy Morling number 20 and Mike Evans. Now, I looked at the I looked at their profiles, man. Jimmy Morling is 5'11. He's 5'11, man. And Mike Evans is 6'5. Okay. Let me show you the realism in this game, man. I, I don't know why they can't get this consistent. I mean, I do know why they don't have time to work on the gameplay, but let me show you guys. Look at this. Look at this. Now, again, it's a technique. Jimmy Morley has his back turned. I don't like that. He's supposed to be either sideways, either facing the sideline or facing um, the center of the field, right? Towards the hash marks. But he has his back turned. And realistically, you cannot see anything going on. How can you play defense when your back is turned to all the action? Okay, I can understand. Maybe you'll do that to stay strictly with their receiver, maybe. And maybe look up when he looks up, but this is not good technique, man, uh, for, for a corner, man. Somebody in the secondary. Anyway, again, they got to fix technique in this game. But watch. It's the same thing I showed you guys on the last video. Watch Jimmy Morley. He faces to the inside for what? See, it happens all the time. Guys, look. There is no responsibility on over there. Why is he looking over there? Why is he looking over there? There's nothing over there. I don't know if they're programming that purposely to make him look like he's looking for work or what. But let me show you right here. Look at Jimmy Morley. Now he comes back. Now look at Mike Evans. He can't see Mike Evans. Mike Evans cuts right there. Jimmy Morley is looking to the inside for what? I don't know. Okay. Now you see Fuller number 29 is staying with number 81. I don't know who that is. I can't remember his name. Fuller is staying with him. Now Jimmy... Again, how does he, okay, I guess he sees uh, 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 Mike Evans over there, so he goes over there. Now, it's from this point, this is good football. Okay, look. They're both looking at the football, and you see that's a mismatch. Again, Mike Evans is 6'5". Jimmy Moreland is 5'11". Look at this. He goes up and get this football. That's what I mean by big players, man, is the matchups. Now, one question do I have, is this a two-man animation? It doesn't look like it, but I don't really I don't really know, know how to read it that well. Is this a two-man animation? Because Jimmy Moreland is clearly outmatched. Mike Evans just goes up and get the ball. This is a mismatch. A 6'5 receiver versus a 5'11 corner, okay? So there's no way he could stop that. Now, watch the realism in the animation. He goes up and get it, and when he comes down, that looks that looks believable, guys. Even if it is a two-man animation, like I'm not really sure. It don't to me. It looks on. The, it don't look like one, but I could be wrong. Okay, he just can't. He, there's nothing Jimmy Morley can do in this position, except try to knock the ball out or or disrupt the pass. I mean, disrupt uh 
uh, Mike Evans from catching the ball? I don't know, but it's nothing he can do. It's a mismatch. But look how he comes down and makes the tackle. He wraps up on the legs, guys. Look at that. That's great animation right there. Madden is not that far away. They just need to get in this gameplay and tune this thing up. That's it. And then let the ratings play out, if that's possible. See, when he, he everything's right. Okay, he's looking at number 81 right here, but when he looks to the inside, why? Why? I don't know, maybe it was the defensive call. I don't know, but you see that all the time in Madden. They always look away. And like I said in my last video you guys saw today, is maybe that's the way they get advantages for the offense or the defense, for the dice roll. They give Mike Evans the advantage because it's uh, uh, to catch the ball because it's predetermined gameplay. Guys, it's hard to tell with Madden. I wish I could just sit in the, in the, in the, in the, in the dev room and say, man, what, what happened on this play? You guys programmed this game. What happened on this play? What was the purpose on this play? Why was this programmed this way? And if they say, no, we didn't mean to program it that way. We just don't have time to go in and fix it. Okay, fine, which I don't think they do. They don't have time to go through a dev cycle and look for this kind of stuff and tune it. Again, all they're going to do for Madden 22 is put in your new features or whatever they got new for Madden 22, copy and paste the rest of the game, make sure the bugs and glitches, make sure everything is working properly, put out a beta maybe, Get a, give us some feedback and then try to fix whatever we say is wrong. There is no time to go in and fix gameplay. They just need to, they just want to fix the stuff that's broken at release or close to release or during a beta that's not working correctly, warping, uh, uh, bugs. That's the stuff they work on before release, guys. They don't have time to go in and fix gameplay. But this is beautiful right here. Mismatch, he goes up, grabs the ball. Beautiful tackle right there. Beautiful tackle, wraps up around the legs. Hey, man. That, that's why I play mad because I get those kind of moments man that's why I play mad we just finished watching a playoff game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and my Washington the football team that was a good playoff game in my opinion I like how we play I'm, I'm, I'm excited about our future man we need some more weapons in, on offense but I think we found our quarterback man yeah Heineke man we found our quarterback all right guys I'm gonna play it at speed let me know what you think in the comment section I love getting you guys opinions and your input and your feedback here we go watch it at speed and that most see that wasted motion more than going to the inside but he did recover he did recover and make a good tackle all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video again man if you're new to my channel Welcome to Hollywood Sports. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And hopefully, I will see everybody that's watching this video on my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah.